Randy, like a Little Caesars pizza, I am both hot and ready for more inscription. Ooh, are you like a regular pizza or like an extra most bestest or like a stuffed okay, crust? Let's not, get, let's not get carried away. Little Caesars stuffed crust pizza is awful. I hate I, it. I, I will hate. also they say put, this. Little Caesars extra most bestest is also awful. <laughs> I, I like had one. I like the regular hot and ready pizza, but what the extra most bestest is so greasy. It's not just get the basic five dollar <laughs> one. Don't take that one dollar upcharge for a worse pizza. <sighs> they put the pepperoni in the crust, in the stuffed crust. It doesn't get crispy. It's Wait, all what? They do? slimy and sloppy. Yeah, I'm, that kind of sounds appealing to me. But I like, like pepperoni. It's not good pepperoni, but like mushy and soft pepperoni. Blah. That's still pepperoni, though. I don't know. I okay, couldn't are, stomach are it. Are you a pepperoni roll fan? Not really. That would explain it. I'm a big pepperoni roll fan. Oh right, we we beat the traitor. Yeah, Zach, you want to recap Joe. what we did last time? No. Um, we no. beat the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did so much more than that last time, I think. Oh, yeah. We solved the secret We solved the secret of the smoke. We stabbed our um, eyeball out. Yeah, oh, that was last episode? Yeah, I think Damn. that was all last episode. It was a long episode. We did a lot. Oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't we go for like three hours? We went for like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> we stabbed our eyeball out, which... And replaced it with like a mystical eye, which let us oh, see the yeah. secret we got code to, to open the thing. clock. The clock gave us the wolf. The wolf gave us a extra like camera tape, right? Because that's his master plan to like break out of here. Oh, is to yeah. take a photo. Oh, of yeah. The, what are we calling this guy? The, the dungeon master, the photographer, sure. the I. Oh yeah. The narrator, all of the above. I don't know. I think there was the implication that the, that the film was magical, right? Because wasn't the implication that if you get your picture taken. Um, you turn into a card. It's unclear whether you turn into a card or just a mm. card gets made of you. I'm assuming oh, yeah. you get made well, into a card, and that's what the stoke and what, the stink bug. Yeah, and the wolf that's what I'm are. like. Yeah, but uh, but the back select card didn't do shit. It didn't say anything. I mean, obviously, like you know, it's not that's for gameplay reasons. But like, mm -hmm. is the is there lore implication? I don't think we've confirmed one way or the other. But yeah, we did all that. We killed the trapper. We got really lucky. I think that was our first attempt on the trapper. Yeah, we. I think we got bailed out by. We got bailed out by something or other. I forget. I think we just had a ton of pelts. Oh. And that let us buy yeah. all of the pelts. I think that was the what did it. Hopefully, we don't have to use the backup because I had to. Uh, I had to open up Firefox for a minute. It's not Firefox. I don't know why I called it that. Oh no. Yeah, so no, we're good. I'll have to blur that out if your video gets lost to time. <laughs> but well, hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, because we persist. Yeah, the load seemed to have taken us back a couple steps because we made it to uh, what I think we oh, ended on right. seeing the cabin, right? That we're in. Did we just? Did we just sort of assume that? Or oh, oh did we do this? No, we didn't. This is where we stopped. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm gonna oh, still walk around. Here. We can still see with That's our magic thing. eyeball. We solved the puzzle. We did solve the puzzle. We took the plant. Did the plant do anything yet? Uh, we put the plant on the table? No. What? No. We oh, yeah, we made the goo. Er, keep, keep sealed. sealed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we haven't messed with this yet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is it sentient keep, goo? Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I have very little to live for these days. <laughs> Could it be? Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus? Can you Magnificus? Magnificus? Is this some like four-year-old's like birthday clown or like magician <laughs> or something? <laughs> can you free me? Wait a second. Click on that cork. If this Click is on the master's cork. eye and the master has written keep sealed. Should we do this? Click on that cork. Ah, it is done. The master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. 
Oh, I see you have a little something special oh. up your sleeve. That's, I don't know. We get the red Zelda text. Yeah, what's up our sleeve? I won't blow... Oh, the, the photo? Oh, yeah. You just need to yeah. get a hold of the camera. Maybe if you defeated him, you'd get a chance. Oh, uh, okay. Is this just our hint so guy? This, so this is it, I think. Um, I, I don't want to touch any legendary camera. All right, so it looks like this is sort of it, right? Yeah, it's our like, hint um, guy. Like, uh, we have to beat this guy. Like, all the rest of the losses, like, we're advancing the story. It seems like it's time to just, uh... Were these time mushrooms? to just kick this guy's ass. Were these mushrooms always up here? I think so. That globe was always there, remember? The, we the globe saying, was. Kept I don't know what the mushroom is. The globe's the only thing we haven't, like, interacted with. What are you talking about? You've, you're have interacting the hell out of it. Well, I mean, there's gotta be. There's no way. Oh, there's, there's gotta way. be something, There's dude. definitely way. There's gotta be something. All right, let's all right, sit Andy, back down at the table. Do you remember the strategy? Nope. Do you remember what all those lo Do you remember what all those logos mean? I don't remember what our cards were. Uh, oh yeah, I remember. Oh, we had, to, we had to give away all of our golden pelts. I mean, you say oh, had it. to, but got, it helped us beat the boss. Got, yeah, we got bailed out because we kept because we wasn't it specifically because we had like fifteen million. We we bought pelts? like twenty pelts <laughs> <laughs> because we were like, let's make big money, and then we beat all of the traps, which gave us more pelts. And then we bought, like, all of his units. Wait, uh, do you think these... Are these car... Now that the trader's dead, or... Are those just taking up space in our inventory? Are we at zero items? We are. Let's get some items. All right, sure. Get some... I feel like our deck's pretty solid. Cards. Yes! I love the scissors. Bop. Scissors are good. Oh, bone what tokens. What's this the gives fan one, do? I think it gives one airborne. Oh, eh. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe, one. like, if you're... So, I could see the fan if you sort of, like, have the needle all the way down. And, like, the he has a bunch of cards a, on the table, you know? It's a finisher, know, like, yeah. But I feel like we have enough finishers with our, like, stacked raven and stuff that I think just some yeah, quick right? bones is probably good. All right. We We're have preparing a, for one last battle, right? Yes. I just want to succeed in this one fight. And we still have two candles, so we still have what's a fail, a do-over. Uh, what's the difference between the, the black goat and the squirrel? <clears throat> so the black goat costs a blood to play, but it gives you three oh, when gives you three. sacrifice it. Squirrels but the squirrel gives just... us a ton of bones because we have our bone so, totem. So it seems like unless you want to do something on the very first turn, that the black goat is better? Because you get two? Yes, but since we buff our squirrels, we also get more bones from them. Wait, why are we buffing our squirrels? Because we have our little sigil guy. Remember, that was our whole oh, our and whole strategy. And that's what's and that's what's giving us hella bones. That's what's giving us hella bones. Your eyes affix themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the oh, night. Oh, dude, how much do you want to like bet? That he says you knock on the door and then we hear a knock. Oh shit. It is to get that meta. Oh shit. Surely. Surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Click. Oh, that's cool. Jump scare. Do it. Do it, game. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? I don't know if I have control and I'm afraid to press a button, so I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. Oh, no. Hit W. No, we're... we're look, you, you see we're moving. What? Yeah, if you look at the ground, we're, like, slightly moving backwards. What? Oh, yeah. I got a little bit of movement. How do you control this? I, I don't know that I've ever actually asked. <laughs> it's just uh, WASD. So if you've mm. played any of, like, the but, old oh, dungeon like crawling games... Like, uh, oh, yeah. Dagger Fall like Persona or, like, Q. Grimrock. Yeah. So you're on, like, a grid tile. So you use WASD to rotate, and then W goes whatever way you're looking. Oh, I was about to say, like, are we, are we playing Mist or something now? I think we're... I don't know what that was. Oh, Jesus. Are we the model? We're playing as the... Oh, are we the little the guy? We might be the little guy. What can I do what with this? the... Run away! This is like Far Cry 4, you just sit here. <laughs> Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my books, or boons, to just boons. any travel. Not my books! 
No, god damn it, you shall not read. <laughs> if you're able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Oh, what's this bullshit? Uh, Pick a card, any card. It's like the show. Right hand rule. Oh, oh, you see that? 11 o'clock. Or can we do something with that? Probably not, but I wonder, but it, it might be a hint. All right, let's try and keep an something. eye on 11. Can I interact with the book? Nope. Okay. What was your guess? Oh, right hand rule, always. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. What? Oh, I think I know what's going on the here. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. What's the last one? The trial of skins. The three drawn cards must Ugh. include a pelt card. Well, we right. have three pelts. Yeah, well, yeah, let's look at our deck if we can. Nope. Does it let you? Nope, we are locked in. Uh, so what do we have the most of? We have at least one long elk and one, uh, like basic spring, spring deer or something. Mm -hmm. What was this one? Rarity. We have rare cards because yeah. we bought a shit ton from the trapper and we have more pelts. How many rare cards? Uh, well, we know. have two pelts. Do we have, well, the question is, no, do we have, we have more two, than two gold rare cards? pelts and we have two basic pelts. Oh, do we? So we have four yeah. pelts. So it's not going to be the arrow. So what so do we, we think have this four, is going to do? We have do? More than, I think that it's going to draw three cards off out of our deck, and one and uh, one oh, of like them has to be thin it out. I don't know oh, about thin oh, it out or just oh, like, that's, like, oh. like how well do you know your deck? Oh, what's a rare card? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. Is that like I kind of think the pelt card, card is the safest. We have at least yeah, four pelts. Yeah, I think that's probably the safest. Out of like what, twelve cards? No, dude, we bought a ton off the trapper. <laughs> well, they were all pelts, weren't they? No. Or were we, they just we cards? We spent our pelts to buy his cards that were going oh. to attack us. Hmm. Right. Wait, do we keep those? Is our deck like I twenty cards I long right now? We did. I thought it was like thirty cards long. I don't. We probably should have looked, looked at our while. deck more. <laughs> 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 all right, let's go with the pelts. Right. I'm feeling Click lucky. the pelts. Hey Zach, don't roll a six. All right, I'll try my best. Oh, dude, the trial of skins. Bunch of sweaty that, that, that people playing fingernail. football in the backyard. <laughs> a car <laughs> that card's thumbnail. And I mean literal thumbnail. thumbnail. It's like a piece of toast. <laughs> it does look like it's like a cinnamon toast crunch. Little. <laughs> or no, no, not the cinnamon toast crunch. What's the one that's actual toast? There's a cereal oh. that's like actually shaped like little toast pieces. Yeah, I know what you mean. Ah. Oh, well, we did it. Ah, golden pelt is a pelt card. Success. Success. Dude, I forgot how All much right. we jacked up this wool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. We didn't kill Allison. Most powerful boons. Right hand rule? Right hand rule. You gotta finish the maze. Cards that and dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw. Oh, passive bonuses. You don't even need to draw them. The boon of the bone lord. Holy shit. That's pretty good. That seems good. Didn't we get a bone? Didn't we get a boon like this before? Way back on Did an we? earlier run? We oh, died with it. Oh, do we? But I, I, thought, I, don't remember. I thought we had the boon of the bone lord. How did we get it? I think we just got it as like a boss reward or something. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Holy fuck. Like, wait, like always? When you draw from your like deck, every time? you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Like any time? I think so. I mean, that seems like the one. You may draw twice. Oh, Zach. I think the middle one. The middle one is really good. But two cards <laughs> is better than... Is two random ass cards better than one card that is good? No, no way. No I yeah. think it's the center one. We will repeat that once. Do we get another boon or do we have another trial? We're going to lose it. The trial of the Find. I feel like we have an oh, okay have... amount of waterborne. We have some. If you have a ring? Where the fuck would we have gotten a ring? Oh, we fucked up somewhere. Eh, airborne. I think airborne is probably the one of the. I think airborne yeah, this is more. One or this one. Probably. I don't think we're getting this one. Could just pick the ring. Say fuck we it. We don't have a ring. We probably would say. Yeah, I know. You'd probably say something funny. 
Ah! Damn, I really wanted that. Those boons were oh, don't, ridiculously good. Don't be greedy. We already got the one boon. We could have had two boons. <laughs> Holy moly. You managed to get a boon. Wait, is this not him? Was the, the hand that, different? That, that, well, no, I think that is him. He's speaking like he didn't know we got a boon. This may be a fair competition. Oh, do we have to play him to get in? No, I think we just go in. I think this is just for dramatic flair. Oh yeah, do it backwards. That light turned out when we got close. The music died. Okay, we're in it now. Intro to Skyrim. <gasps> oh! It's the Prospector. He looks like a Ent Druid guy. How meta are we right now? His hands are super mushroomy. Well, I mean, like, we're in the cabin that's on the board of the first cabin. In the game, right? Yeah. This we're is like, like Inception. Is this, oh, is this really Inscription? <laughs> it's, it's Inscription. Was Hans Zimmer in charge of the Trapper theme? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you heard those bass lines? It was pretty good. Are you ready to play? Are I want to walk around, dude. I want to... Oh, dude, what if I just stab him? Enough. Them? Like, right now? Yeah, that'd be sick. Look at his huge-ass fingers. I don't know. I was afraid to sit at the table. I hope you are adequately prepared. Yep, fuck you. We got another greater smoke. Did you just give himself an extra candle? What, an, what a cheating asshole. <laughs> He just, he oh, just stole masks? your candle. <laughs> nice topic. <laughs> so are we supposed oh. to recognize? Because that's the prospector mask. That's, I yeah, forget, that's was the, that the fisherman? And that's maybe, the trapper. One of them is a traitor. Okay, so he just has all three floating around. All right, so we got a stupid ass pelt. That does nothing for us. Did you draw that squirrel? You always start with a squirrel. You don't right, draw. So do we draw a turn. squirrel, or do we? Is you there anything? You don't draw on your do we turn. have a on your first turn? Oh, what? So we have a big mole man. I think How the can mole. You remember all the rules. The mole moves to a uh, like an empty slot if we attack. An amalgam, a three-three amalgam. Play that squirrel. So we get squirrel into stoat. Combos. Squirrel into stoat. It is a classic combo. Squirrel to stoat to manual to wall plant. <laughs> we can kingfisher like two into what? Just damage, I guess? And we can also greater smoke into damage. Yeah, let's, get, let's, let's tilt those scales early. Right. Win early, win often. Even though sometimes I can, like, punish you in this game, right? Because, like, do we just sacrifice well, the, I... the rabbit pelt to block three damage? It's literally well, doing mean, nothing else, else doing? for us. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got a full board. I mean, the trader's dead, so... Man, it's going to really suck when we lose and have to go through this whole thing again. I know. We beat the trapper, though, first try. We might be able to... Three yeah. phases, though. Yeah. That means we're never going to be able to do it again. Oh, he blocks all of them. Clever. Did it take what all was, the damage? What was though? in its hand? Yeah, it took all the damage. So we want a death touch, preferably. Long Elk is uh, a good play. We have one, don't we? Yeah, we have Long Elk. Wherever it's at. Uh, there we go. So I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit. I don't know yeah, about you. That's... It was really loud. Uh, maybe just the music. I thought the maybe I think the sound effects are good. I mean, that the music better. is really good. But all right, so long elk one hits the amalgam. Uh, greater smoke. And that's block, it. block, block. This kills. 
Mantis God comes in and will hit us for one. It won't hit the Kingfisher because it'll be submerged. Oh no, this hits oh, dude. Stoat also. No, we'll be fine. Yeah, the Stoat can take one. We can always draw it again. That's true. Or no, we don't. No, we don't, but it'll. we can just re-sacrifice. It'll be fine. Yep, and then it comes in, hits us for one. One damage is whatever. Whoa, fuck you, Prospector. Wait, what? What? What triggered that? Well, let's build up our hand, I guess. What the hell triggered that? Is it because he gets a I different mask each, like, other turn? That's no good, Zach. That's bad. Yeah, that's no good. Well, I mean, unless, is there anything airborne that he has? I mean, it's just going to kill all these things eventually. All stale, hard chews? Yeah, so he just gets no, a different doing, one each turn. Now he's doing the fisherman thing. We could... Do we uh, go for a one-turn kill? I think we could do it, right? Where's our big airborne flyer? That, uh, he only raven, hits for right? four. Do we have a different raven? That yeah, what raven? was the deal with that raven? Well, we can, we can put out an alpha, which will make a double. We can't play... We can only draw one this turn. No... Oh, right, we're not playing these, we're drawing them. Um, uh, Coyote does a lot. We could take out two of the... We could take out two of them. We'd get hit for three. One, two. We get unless we can three. put... And that would let us can, raven the turn after? Yeah, I don't know how... Because raven doesn't win it for us, because it's only going to deal four damage. What do we have on item-wise? We have a scissor... We have a squirrel, and we have bones, I think. You can put out... Uh, yeah, we don't need the bones. I wish I could see if he was playing a card here or not. Do you have to choose right now? Yeah. Because I think he played Coyote like here, any... and it wipes these, right? Yeah, I don't think his next cards are out, because I feel like... We wouldn't be able to see the bottom of the outline, yeah. So wait, he steals the one that we play, doesn't he, though? Uh, he already did. I think it changes to the last moved one. So, Coyote costs four bones. We have plenty of bones, so let's play this guy. Yeah, you see what I mean? But, we can oh, bait. Yeah. With a squirrel? With squirrel now. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Coyote cleans up. This might tank a hit, or it might get stolen and we take three, but either way, we should win next turn with the, uh, with the Raven. Let's do it. Oh, right. It, it pushes it back. So this is it, right? Well, we got, we got to move the Coyote. Oh, no, because the... No, it'll be well, fine. We Raven. got this, we got this, we got this. Yep. Oh, this costs two? Here. Raven costs two? Fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, we could just do the alpha this turn. He's not gonna... Nothing, nothing's gonna hit us. So what's the last guy? What's the trapper? What was his ability? Uh, he spawned shit. little traps, and he made us buy cards, right? So yeah, maybe we want to fill... We just need one damage? correct for what to win because coyote's only gonna hit once hit once because he's in the corner oh right so we need to get to five so i'm assuming just the geck here so this should give us five okay one down all right now what sort of bullshit's gonna happen now that prospector kind of fucked us but you capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the Ooh. true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. What? <laughs> no, not Reginald. Wait, who's Reginald? I wonder if we were supposed to die more times. Or maybe that was the first character? Did we? Well, we died a couple of times, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we died. We made a junior. We made a back select two, yeah. I think. I think we died two or three times. 
Maybe Reginald was like the f the first character or something. So here's or the deal. Clue. Coyote will kill Stump. By Coyote's gonna die to back select. Do you think we can cut up a card early? <laughs> uh, oh. That'd be risky. Um, what if we just did? Wait, if we just keep kept going with our strategy for the Raven, Co Coyote could die just fine, right? So we squirrel up. Raven. Yeah. Because <laughs> Raven and um. Because you, what if you you sacrifice the Gek? Um, we have to sacrifice Squirrel two. Card. Yeah, Squirrel Card. Or maybe we sacrifice Coyote if it's just going to die. And what if we just sacrificed both? We'll deal four Don't damage. Use our Squirrel Card. We'll deal four damage. Right? Yeah, we take three and then you put out the, uh, the Alpha and win. Do you think I can cut this? I think, well, you can, I think, but I don't think, it, I don't actually think it's necessary. I think we can tank that three hits if we sacrifice the Coyote and the Gek. We tank three, we score four. Yeah, but we're only winning by one there. We don't know what he's going to play after. Maybe, maybe we're fine, right? Yeah, I mean, I think we just go for the kill just and deal go for with the what raven. happens next, next. All in, or do we pop a squirrel and then go for the Gek to get the raven? Well, can we get the raven and the alpha in one turn? Mm -hmm. We'd have to the, draw it again. The, we'd have to draw it again. Like we would need a way to turn a draw. Which that's okay. What I'm saying. I think so what are we taking right now? Zero damage, right? Yeah, we're taking zero damage. How much is the alpha card? I think it's a one cost. So we wouldn't be able to have enough to sacrifice to play them both right now. We would need another squirrel. Mm. So I think we'd well, maybe just go for Raven and get the one up lead. Sure. So this is the type of game that I would sit here for like literally half an hour figuring out that exact mathematical transaction. So the safest move is to put it behind the stump because that way his hit. unit can't hit us and we can still hit diagonally. Mm -hmm. And then I think unless something crazy happens, we got it next turn. We still have to wait for the trapper mask or the prospector could fuck us maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, I guess it. Oh, all fuck! That moves. We gave it that ability. No! Randy, we did. <laughs> How much damage? We hit him for four, right? We just need one damage? Yeah, anything flying. We'll deal with it later. We'll deal with it later. We just need to deal one damage, right? Yeah, put something in the second row. Yeah, that. No, because we, we need to sacrifice one. We need the bones. Well, All they right. also has some. All right, humble stink bug. Take us home. Wow, this guy got killed by a stink bug. How embarrassing. All right, Zach. He's pissed now. This damned moon. Is he a werewolf? <laughs> it's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my poor. <laughs> Is he going to play... I what wonder. a thing to say. Is he going to play a moon card? He's going to play... Oh, like astronaut? Oh, that's our chance to take the photo. What? Now that Did is... Did he take a photo of the fucking moon? <laughs> 40 HP? Is this a DPS race now? Yeah, zero attack, but it's going to fuck you up. Wait. Okay, hold okay, on. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can block flyers. Okay. That's it's, that thing is just all for. Oh, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creature opposes it. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What? What do you mean orbit? I bet it. I bet it captures it. I bet it captures your card. Or maybe a card. Oh, do I don't we know have a death touch card still? Or was the elk the only one that had death touch? That wouldn't that surely wouldn't work, right? I don't see anything saying it doesn't work against death touch. Well whatever. How uh, what hits for forty? No, this one's just unkillable, but it's not death touch. I say we put out the alpha. We yeah, I mean, Alpha's amplify. a good play. 
amplify the stink bug. God, I fucking wish we turn. had that elk now. Yeah, wait, that'd be something. Wait, huh? can we just cut it? Give it a shot. I don't think it's going to let you, but... Oh, come the Ooh. fuck on. You're just changing Ooh. the rules. You son I mean, of that's a in, bitch. That, I mean, that's on brand. What else have we got? We could we could give ourselves a squirrel, but... It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. A zero attack, though. Uh, at the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures yeah. like squirrels. So we just can't play squirrels? Is that it? I don't know what it's going to count as. I'm assuming each card in its orbit gives it one attack. I'm just... Yeah, oh, either one attack or it absorbs the attack. Also, yeah. I mean, I guess we just do this, right? I think... Well, I also think we start... I also think we kind of want to just start filling up our spaces because it's going to attack all four of our spaces and us directly if it... Mmm... Uh, so we have to deal 40 damage before it deals five But I don't want to fill us. it with a squirrel. Sure. Because it'll I mean, take it's the probably squirrel. But right now it's at zero. Exactly Do you that. think it just takes up one per turn? Yeah, so... We should have we'll saw how many bone cards we had left. Fuck. Okay. Eh, let's just... Oh, but the beehive would be good. because The beehive's just a sack outlet. Oh, yeah. With the stinky sigil? Oh. Ah, oh, thanks, stink bug. I wonder if it... I wonder if it had some... I wonder if it had one attack, yeah. Moons do not have a <laughs> sense of smell. This is not how I imagine <laughs> this, this battle going. Wait, is that actually... We just won? That'd be really funny. I wonder I wonder if this is actually totally supposed to be like super easy. Like, uh, I, bet death, I bet Death Touch would have totally worked after reading that. Yeah, wolf it yeah, up. Yeah, it probably... We, we can't... We don't have the sacrifice, right? We would need to play a squirrel. Uh, you can play a pelt. Oh, well, well we have to draw it. it so. did, I don't see we have any motivation to. I think we just hold on to the beehive for now. Sure. And then I don't think we even need to pop the squirrel, right? Not yet. Not... I. He's 100% going to do something. At screwy, the beginning right? of like, its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil... Oh, is that the logic? It's just that we're in a winning position, so why play anything until we move to a losing one? I was gonna. Well, yeah, I th I sort of think that um, we should get our licks in while we can, because I don't, I can't imagine that this game is gonna let us just beat on this guy for thirty-seven HP. I think he's gonna be like, I think this game like wants to partially reward you for doing this by being like, oh, haha, you outsmarted it. But, and then give you like a turn or two of free damage and then I think it's going to go, okay, but let's actually do this. So should I pop squirrel my, for beehive? Well, that's my that's my prediction. I don't know if that's going to be true, but if I were designing a game like this that's what I would do. Let's give it one more turn. I, I have, Yeah, I have an intuition that this is going to go, that this is not going to be this easy. He's going to say, okay, congratulations, you beat me, now it's time for, or we just don't. Let's squirrel up because that's good, right? And then we're in Squirrel a winning up. position. Legalize stoats. Big attack. What's our big attack? I am yours. Wolf is a big attack. So let's squirrel into wolf. Boys becoming wolves. Wolves becoming men. Okay, now we're dealing six a turn. I feel more comfortable with that. I think we just win this sec. It's all that bullshit I was spewing about 10 seconds ago. Well, we might hit a threshold, right? Wrong. Where it... Like, maybe once we get it to a certain HP level. Or this guy's just like a super sore loser. No, wouldn't he be a really good loser? If he was a, if he was a sore loser, he would like reach out with a pen and like oh. write an 8. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's what I thought was gonna happen, but like, um, I mean, oh, I like the idea of just writing, it, doing a cross. <laughs> but I think you're gonna beat this thing, and he's gonna be like, "No, I, now you have to fight this thing." Should have been a, he shouldn't have been a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Then it's time to do. It's at it's at the one HP. No, now you cut it. <laughs> 
you really destroyed what if like the actual moon's gone i mean it took away the moon so suppose all that's left is to finish me off unless would you like my camera unless go on I wonder how many lines of dialogue they had if you just sat there. You playing uh, it? That'd be so <laughs> you gotta get that overkill money. I, I gotta draw. Like, I can't not draw. Is this a trap? I mean... Well, what else are you gonna do? I don't know. That's the last candle. And the moon. That achievement kind of makes me think maybe we Hold did on. it. Did I just... I think I just beat him. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's us. Randy, did you turn your... Did you leave your webcam yeah, on? Yeah, did I leave my webcam on? I got a little pony island. Do, 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 I don't know. Do, is that do. actually the name of the developer? Is it Camworks? All right, now the rest of the game. Is this like bonus footage? I think we're just playing his story now. So we have four. That's a long ass battery life. Okay. I don't want to leave without watching some of these. Watch all of them. We can go in. How do you want to do this? Do you want to go chronological? Yeah, don't overthink it. All right. I wonder if this is actually the dude or if this is an actor. Oh wait, we can fuck around with this stuff. How much stuff is interactable here? I, I think I think you're just turning on the captions. Oh, I mean that's what this button does. But like, I mean I th I don't know how much there. Are there any like frame probably... specific hidden messages? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you play it backwards, it says "Hail Satan." <laughs> hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening. Oh, a pack opening. Today, Let's get a shiny. Catch monsters packs and digging for that epic shiny transcend dog. <laughs> and here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first. Pack. This is too real. Feeling good about this one. Did he go too deep? Did he make his own card game? That's what. I'm, yeah, you think it's like uh, he wants to open packs forever, so he so he takes pictures of things. <laughs> hey, maybe. Our first rare is. A Birchkin. Dude, that's only like 24 exactly cents. a viable competitive <laughs> card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Oh, he's perfectly doing the Next thing where it's like, you have to sit through better. every single card in this video. I say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. Yeah, they're, they're winners. <laughs> that pack's a winner. It's, it's so a smooth. winner. Oh, this is so good. There's a Charizard here. Uh, card factory, but, um, <laughs> these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. I wonder if this is him or if this is an actor. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. Uh huh. Oh, I'll get that Catch Monsters draft cube, dude. Is... Do you know what a draft Vanda. cube is, Zach? Not exactly no. so far, but we have many packs to go. Next oh, pack, shit, he got a band dog? Just cut out this part. Oh, it's the sidekick. So a draft cube in like these collectible card games is you uh -huh. can a, a an ingenious way card game manufacturers came up with to sell packs is there's a format called draft where everyone buys right. like five packs. You take one card out of it and you pass it to the person to your left in like a circle. And then I'm each person that concept. Yeah, each person picks a card. That's called a draft. So a cube right. is instead of just buying new packs each time, you just have like a big stack of cards pre-made for like balance reasons. And mm -hmm. then you just draft with those. Uh, we got another got another pack opening. Hey there, card gamers. The I'm lucky gamer. Carter, and this is oh, the lucky Carter. You think there's a lucky Carter Today YouTube channel up? By now, yeah. We're a couple weeks. Lesson. We're a month or two back on this. Inscription. Ooh. You would not oh shit. Deal like on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have. Uh... This guy doesn't even have four packs of the Final Fantasy <laughs> trading card game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seen these going around in my childhood. 
Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much. And he's use. opening them? That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. So That's about right. How much does the back select card go for on the open market? It's comp viable. It's really uh, cool its value increases the Definitely more subscribers we have. Oh, that were, that's like the ant but passive. And <laughs> my, for this pack my is... yeah, the attack power is tied Wait. to subscriber count. What? That's, that's just a fucking magic card. What is blue mage? Cool looking card. That's not, not an inscription card. We didn't see a blue mage. All right. Not yet. Is he gonna see his own face? That'd be cool. This pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck a rare out of it. That would suck. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? What's going to be on? Is it the stoat? So are we in a It's cabin? the stoat. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Can you, okay, Zach, do you know your coordinates? No. What's your what's your Absolutely north by not. northwest coordinates right now? Nope. Not even gonna not even to close. attempt. I have no idea. That's the most unrealistic part. I'm getting like a real like marble hornets hey vibe out of this. <laughs> Do you remember that? The original Slender no. Man stuff? Oh. Yeah, oh, Marble oh. Hornets was the name of the YouTube channel with all of the Slender Man videos. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, I see. He's going he's going there. And then he digs up the geocaching. Uh that's what I was going to have to say. Yeah, maybe this guy's just a huge geocacher. He knows his coordinates inside and out. Yeah, man, it's possible. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp. All right, what's your guess? Is this shovel. guy the stoat? Always come prepared, kids. No, I think he's like outside of it all. Whew. I don't. I don't really think he's anyone. There we go. Yeah. Maybe he's the boss or the master or whatever. What? Hold is on, that? hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, we're, we're rewinding that. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna freeze frame on this. Yeah. Okay. Is that, so a, he, Sam, is that a Samsa? So he's 49 Zip. by 123. Okay, so he's at the point. This is like all the framing of a magic card, but without the attack and health. Like, this is clearly modeled off of. Uh huh. I don't, I don't know. Creature something. Right. Creature yeah. what? It's generic enough. It looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card too. Yeah, it does. Thinking. It does. The font's Yu-Gi-Oh. But even then it still doesn't have the health and attack stuff. What's this, what's this guy doing with his like Verizon Juke? Oh, this is the what card is that it? had it written on it. Okay. That explains why he's holding it up. Yeah. I don't know what's up with this phone, man. Is that a GP? Is that a GP? Are we making some like older person right now like pull their hair out like how could they not know that's a motorola uh i've got nothing i mean we also don't know if this guy's even american his accent sounds american but this that's true. could be like a popular phone elsewhere I in mean, the world like we don't, we don't that's know. not it's i mean i don't know how many forests are there outside of america uh like two and i think they're both in like china <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close. This guy to. does have like peak it's like douche well YouTuber energy. A massive a douche is a waste of strong word. I don't Oh no. I'm like getting like a douche vibe. Massive I, you're right. I but I guess like inauthentic. Some forced enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd be putting on my most enthusiastic face following kind, some weird coordinates on a card. Which I mean, Randy, we absolutely never put on fake enthusiasm on this channel, not on this sick video that we're about to watch. It says error on it, so strap in, everybody. Let's oh watch boy, this Zach, video. I can't wait. 
Oh shit! Oh shit, Randy, what happened? Oh shit! Zach, oh shit! There's at it was least all just fifty-five it was Easter all just eggs hidden in this two-second clip. Oh my god! <laughs> We're never gonna figure out all the answers. Look, there's a photo from me from middle school, cracked away right in there. <laughs> oh boy. That's literally just lost footage. Like, I don't think we can get anything out of this. <laughs> okay, what do you find? All right. That's why you always bring an extra oh. battery, boys and girls. Mm hmm. Okay. Every time. You gotta come prepared. But he had 400 uh, minutes on the blast. Well, one. this could be our camera now watching back the footage. Mm hmm. So what's in the hole, man? <laughs> All right. Do you think this dude like this found a hole in the forest near his house and decided to make this game? I'd be calling up a buddy and I'd be like, hey, if I don't call you back in like two hours, no. send the cops to this coordinate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. You played Spelunky. You know how it goes. Is there a freaking like what golden guy statue doing? god? He's testing the easiest part, spot to dig. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But <laughs> only one way. Those seem like low odds, man. Is that a skull? What the fuck? <laughs> also, this thing might be the least buried thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Looks like a toilet cover. <laughs> it's 50 more packs of inscription. It's back select. It's the rarest card. Is it the stash of DB Cooper? Oh. 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 Inscription. What? Is that what we were playing? Okay, that was a pretty good fake what. What? What the fuck? Guys. Are you seeing this? Is he live streaming it? This is recorded, right? <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm a little confused. Don't copy that, Floppy. I like to think this is some all, like, the original ARG viral marketing campaign. I mean, alright. This is him booting up the... Think, that looks like Minecraft. What do you think is actually... Do you think anything's actually at those coordinates? Oh, in real life? Someone's yeah, probably went on. and checked, man. I just does, does Google Maps have coordinates on it? Uh probably that or Google Earth, I'm sure. I'm sure you could find digits. your coordinates. What if he just hit it back? Like if I was developing a game like that, yeah, I'd put I'd put it there. That'd be cool. <laughs> Is this him buying a yes, floppy disk drive off Amazon? <laughs> Like, let's judge everything on his desk. Uh, we got a weird squirrel looking thing. It's in the, the bottom squirrel left. totem. Uh, we got this weird mask that could There's explain. There's a candle. And a candle. Uh, What's that framed on the right? Ooh, I don't know. It could just be a rare card, probably. Does he have like a dog toy squirrel thing? What's Phone, that thing on the bottom left of the card. screen with like three buttons on it? Bottom left of the screen. Oh, this thing? I, I don't see. I don't mouse. know. Oh, okay. Uh, right of the timestamp. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Be a calculator. I I don't know. It's a hell of a calculator. That is a hell of a calculator. Wow! Great video. Wow. It's like us doing. Videos. My thoughts exactly. Wow! Great video. I love freezing when he's looking back at us. He's got some <laughs> deer energy. A deer, like wood carving. A better oh, look at the card like some... that's framed. A Xbox controller. Three hundred and sixty uh, specifically. Yeah, or one of those cheap knockoff Logitechs. Mm hmm. Looks like a, a deck of inscription cards. Yep. Yep. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. I love, love, love the not quite Windows XP background. <laughs> <laughs> There's more trees on this one. I want that wallpaper. Where do I find it? We can screen cap this. 
That's what we did. We hit that Were we button. Playing like, as this guy. So if you remember, at the very, very, very beginning of this game, the first time we loaded it up, we do get this guy's voice briefly. I don't remember exactly what he says. Oh, really? I don't yeah, remember that. Yeah, they cue you in that there's a meta element from the very start. It's like, oh, check now recording or something, he says. Like, it makes it very clear that there's some meta element. But I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's like literally before you even get to the title screen, the first time you boot the game. Also, it's weird that there's only a continue and ever a new game. I love it. Okay. We, well, that was the, that's that, right? You can't click on the Camworks logo. Uh, I cannot click on the Camworks logo. Can't click no on the battery. Email style Easter eggs. I think we just said back. Select. Select. Oh, yeah, there we go. No. Anything new? <laughs> nope. Okay. Wait, we're recording? Is this still the game? It's unclear. It looks like it's our birthday, though. We're one year old. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. This feels like cannibalism. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Your prize awaits. I want to back out, please. Very well. I'm not even getting an option. Come with me. I didn't think I refused. Stand right there. Is he going to take a photo of us? So we can do it. We can we can hook up the camera. We have the... Th yep. Do it. Do it. Was I too slow? I didn't know there was a timed element to that. What? What is this? I I think we can we can walk. Oh, we took a phone. Oh, that's the card. Oh, so it like oh, plasters them into a card. Oh, he's gonna talk to us now. This is some nutty like camera obscura bullshit. And there's the new game button. Oh, there's our new game plus. Is that all like the coats people have worn when they die here? <laughs> That's really funny. Funny is one word for it. Where did his clothes go, though? Don't worry about it. What's this corpse here? Is he just hiding here, like behind this box? That'd be really funny. Let's pick up that card. Can I open this door back? Nope. Door is locked. Shit's locked. All right, card. <laughs> Can't open the door, man. Shit's stuck. Oh, it's not even giving me an option to interact with it. Wait, wh there's the look button. Oh. It just I guess we don't really need it. Gives you a little zoom. You, w I would take the card, though, wouldn't you? I, w I would have taken the card. All right, let's start a new game. The floating new game in the sky. I feel like I don't want to miss anything when we're in here, but I'm not seen any interactables. Yeah, it looks like you explored this place pretty thoroughly. Jesus. Apologize for anyone with epilepsy. Yeah, this is not a not a great game for that. Are are we back in what the What do we do? I think we're back in the cabin. We can I only can't see shit. We can only walk one way towards the candle. Walk this way. Oh, I'm blocked. Wait. Right hand rule. Is it actually that I dark? I know it would come in handy. Nope. Left hand rule. Wow. I can't believe you would betray my trust like oh this. Oh my god, this is so dark. Wait. Well, I mean, he did take I... the moon out of this guy. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Okay, here's the candle. I can't walk to my right. Can't walk to my left. I can only take one step forward. Okay. I can't go any more forward. So I can try right. Turn back left. Holy fuck, Zach. Is there something we're forgetting about? Do we have to quit? What if you hit escape? No way. This this has just got to be. Can I turn brightness up? 
we do the old like Minecraft cheat? Bop, 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 bop. He was turning the game up. Did they think of that? Oh, I thought it would be some meta thing. I mean, it still might be. It did. Didn't appear to help at all. I mean, oh. I'm so confused at what we're supposed to do here. My guess is that I, I have to think it's something in the menu at this point. Let me know when you want me to just look it up. Nah, I'm afraid of spoiling you on this, though. Come on, we're, we're smart. We have college degrees. We can figure this out. What does this 11 mean? Uh, can you click it? Nope. What if you hit alter deck again? Nothing. It does not like us hitting that. So it looks like well, we're in, like a, in like a one by three spot. In any case, I feel like you have to turn the gamma back down. This is killing me. <laughs> is it? I can't see anything. I don't know if you can see anything. Maybe my monitor brightness not is too low. But like, not really. I can barely see anything. I can't interact with the candle. Is there a doorknob or something? Is there nothing in that options menu that would screw with anything besides the gamma? Uh, full screen, noise, graphics, volume, dialogue. Yeah, nothing. We could reset our save data. That seems like a bit of a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can't walk forward. Yeah. Can't All right, jump. I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm gonna get the solution ready. You tell me when you're ready for it. I feel like I'm trying every possible input. So whenever you find a solution, uh, I will accept it. I feel like there's some interactable I just am not clicking on. Or maybe oh. we. What? Uh. Go back to the main menu. Really? We unlocked the new button. We took the card from the cabin. Why wouldn't it just send us back here? Why are this even, close. Why even give us that weird little, <laughs> like, purgatory? Because wanted to confuse you, just like you were. That was the intended experience you just had. I would have spent 45 more minutes if we weren't <laughs> recording a video. Oh shit, wiping. No, don't wipe it. We worked hard on that. Purging, Purging deck, deck data. data. Oh man. <laughs> okay, we're really doing a new game. Are we playing like Earthbound now? In the beginning, Is that the, Xbox Black the and white world button? did not know cards. That is. Until the day it's the scribes the arrived. There's the stoat. The evil guy was on the top right. Yeah, so he probably like. betrayed the other three. Each had their own methods of inscription to create cards. Gramora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. That's the master. That is the master. And he looks kind of green. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. His name was uh, John Cena. <laughs> is the stink bug a... Uh... A scribe? Uh, a talking card? Yeah, I think all of them. The wolf, the stoat, the stink bug, and the... What was his name? Who had the wildlife camera? Leshy? Leshy? Leshy is the dude, yeah. Yeah. Choosing starting Choose deck... Choose a starting deck. ...to mark your ambition. Do we go with the uh, stoat? Oh, oh, the text box is stopping us from walking away. Do we know That's which funny. one the stoat is? The stoat would be this guy, right? Yeah, because remember he turned into that thing. He did turn into after that thing a couple times. So we have weird donut symbol, wizard hat, cat face, and like yeah. skeleton hand. Yeah, because uh, Leshy took photos of beasts. Uh, the one dude painted the wizards, 
Uh, the robot scanned. And I forget what that thing... Uh, oh, she wrote down um, epitaphs. Epitaphs of the dead. To create yeah. cards. So let's start with Stoat, and let's see if we can... If it'll yeah, give probably. us a little, like, text blurb. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Oh, wait, we're choosing who we're going to replace? Oh, don't replace the Stoat. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magic. I don't want to replace the master. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts. We just did all the beasts. Your ambition is to replace Gramora and become the scribe of the dead. So are these Unless just starter just decks? Have to do all of these. So is the scribe yeah, of the like dead, it. is it all bones? Is the beasts like the Probably. normal card? Technology we haven't seen and magic we haven't seen. Should we stick with our good friend, the stoat, then? Yeah, fuck the stoat. The cards were added to your collection. Oh. Oh, okay. These reminds me of the standing scones in Styrum. You know? Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah. You, you pick the lover or the trickster or whatever. Uh-huh. What is this? <laughs> this is a uh, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, are we, is this Super Mario 3 now? Like, what are we doing? We have... Oh, jeez, that was really fast. Is that like the Wicked Witch of the Western Bridge? Well, we got options, it looks like. You know, I have to say, I don't know if this is going to be the case, but I, if we're done playing cards, I think that'll be a huge disservice to this game. Well, we just picked up a deck, so there's no way we can be done. Maybe it's just a different narrative framework. Like, instead of the cabin and the dude giving us paths, now we have to do card battles and, like, this. Oh. Uh, Maybe. I, I don't know how many acts there are Zach, yet. Zach, I, I honestly don't know what we're going to get. Can we walk past him? Can we walk He's going to die? No. Also, what's our little, like, you know, ratchet and clank I... looking dude? Yeah. I, I was about to say, when you were facing sideways like that, um, to one of the signs, he really reminds me of um, uh, Dr. Krygor. From WarioWare. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> I'm getting I'm a, a clank I'm vibe. Have, I'm putting I'm putting a timestamp down mm -hmm. so that I can put a picture of Dr. Krygor or Krigor. I'm not exactly sure. No idea. Let's see what this witch person has to say. Woof. I was just about to call Woof. it quits out here. Same. But, but now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. Everyone just knows what a challenger is. I should be able to get this bridge it's fixed in... bright red in... text. Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes <laughs> you to defeat one of the scribes. <laughs> so, uh, come back later. Gotta gather that momentum. Look, you seem like a fine enough player, so I'll fill you in a bit. These scribes are crazy out here, always at each other's necks. Desperate struggle for power, you know? Just stay out of it. You don't want to end up like them. That's specifically what we like want to do. Yep. Woof. Okay. Woof. Dark Souls rule. Always keep churning through the dialogue until you get a repeat. So we can right, fight who are we going for first? Leshy or we can fight Gramora. I feel like we just fought Leshy. That, may, that might mean no, that we know. know how to beat him better, though. Up to you. I mean, this feels like it's going to be different no matter what we do. Let's fight Lashy. Okay. We've got... There's the, there's the fisherman, the prospector. We've got like a post-divorced Shrek fishing. And we've <laughs> got this karaoke master over here. 273. Oh, oh, the eyes. What was 273? Was, was that the combination of the for, safe? For the safe? All right. Zach, I might need to start writing. I'm going to start writing stuff down here. Okay. Because we had eleven o'clock on or eleven on the clock, right? Oh yeah. And then we have two seven three. Okay. I'm writing it on the back of the envelope that my rent check goes in, so we'll get this figured out. Off. Oh, hell yeah. Just never pay your rent. <laughs> Just like Ooh, rent. What's the treasure chest? I don't know. The play. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. Oh, we get to unpack. Hell, all right. Welcome to our unboxing video. Holy fuck. Okay. Elk. At the end of the owner's turn, the elk will move in the direction. Oh, so it's just the elk card. Urayuli? 
That's a shiny. A 7-7? Seven, seven? Oh, but it costs 4. Hawk will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a Airborne. creature opposing it. Okay, so this is a good finisher if we can stack it. Explode Bot. When Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent eh. friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. That's fun. Okay. What is that? Two. Well, that's two something that's not bones two or Two battery. Blood. Is there battery uh, a resource? Oh, so man. you have bones for the dead lady. Uh -huh. You have blood for the yeah. for Leshy. Battery mm -hmm. for this guy and some sort of mana probably for the for the wizard. Mana or yeah. Can't be well, he, he paints. It provides a blue gem to its owner. So blue gem must be mana. Oh, maybe. Do you think we get different boards? Zach, I don't know, man. Can we take all of these? I think we... Yeah, we opened a pack. So now if we go alter deck, do we get like a full deck builder? Looks like we it. We have zero out of oh, 20. Yeah. We, we need got our... Oh, right, here we go. We got our Gwent uh, armies up at the top here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a big Nilfgaard Except, fan. Have you... Did you know anybody who used anything other than the uh, the Northern Realms? In, in like Gwent. the actual like, Gwent or in Witcher Three Gwent? Oh, in actual Gwent, I imagine they fix this. But in Witcher Three, like you just you, play no, monsters. No one, yeah, yeah. Monsters are broken. As Wait, hell. you play monsters? In, the, in Witcher Three, you, get... you play monsters. It's so OP. But where would you get enough monster cards? I only got like five cards for any of the other decks. I, I don't know. And I felt like I bought a shitload of cards. <laughs> but I digress. But uh, in the Gwent game, no, no, you don't play Northern Realms. People would play Viking. People would play monster, or people would play Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard, you play the spy decks, like the infiltrator. Yeah. You play oh, them. that's annoying. Yeah, that's annoying as so shit to good, fight dude. against. I liked Gwent. Gwent's a fun game. Okay, what do we got in our starter deck? Leapbot will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. So what, does this mean we have four copies? Oh, we're in an actual deck builder now, Zach. So let's get a what basic What if we just auto-completed? Actually, I want less leap bots because that stat's kind of. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to take at least one. Wait, what do you think this times Unless... six means? Well, I don't know. It's six of whatever that resource is that costs to play it. So maybe we want more leap bots and we want less more expensive ones. What is a steam bot? Yeah, we don't need four thick droids. I mean, maybe we do. I don't know. We haven't actually played. Now these twenty cards, do they all have to come from one? No, I imagine we uh... could do. Yeah. Well, let's get that. Let's get that one card in there. That was um. Uh. Yeah. Let's put these in here. We don't have a way to play them though, because we can't. Sac like, can we sacrifice robots? Will they give us know. blood? We have to get into a. I don't we have know, to get into dude. A fight. <laughs> I don't. I don't, it, I don't know if we want any of these. Wait. How what can we go? Just... How can we go over twenty? Okay. Well, you ran out of cards. You used all thick droids. Oh, is okay, it a 20 Randy. minimum? Yeah. All right, let's toss in one. Okay, what let's if toss you in just a hawk. got rid of all your cards and hit autocomplete? What would the game do? What would the final card it add? An elk. Inscription, please play yourself for us. So no steam bots. Yeah. Well, I heard the Steam bots got delayed anyways. So we're just going to play it, have Inscription play the game for us? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I would do. It, it knows better than we do about how to beat it. It'd be really funny if the autocomplete button gave you, like, the worst deck. <laughs> All right, fisherman. No. No fish, no pass. Oh. So we need to bring him a fish. Look at the worms. Do you think we get a fish from the prospector? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What worms? Oh, in his mouth? Yeah, ugh. it's kind of gross. Let's talk to karaoke man. Oh, that's the prospect. Dag nabbit. Oh, I guess yeah, that's, that's a pickaxe, huh? I thought he was holding a microphone. I, I like where your head's at. <laughs> <laughs> Dag nabbit. That dang hound got herself lost again. Or again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof of my girl's all right. 
that we need to find a dog and some fish for this? Well, what actually happened was that the prisoner took the dog and made the dog fall in love with another dog so that uh, he could escape uh, to Tennessee. Dude, Old Red is such a good song. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Old Red was looking sad. <laughs> All right, hey, Leshy. We're just going to ignore you for now. What's on the bed? Oh, shit. What was the number? 272? It's either two or three. I think it might be three. You take a stinking You take. Is this what he was trying to serve us earlier? Okay, do we have an inventory? Uh, huh? Is it a card? No. Where's our stinking pile of meat card? What's the little question mark? Or is that just again? Yeah, is there's a thing? faint odor where the meat uh. once was. Maybe we can bait the dog with the meat now? Uh, are these more puzzles? Is this another puzzle? I like the old, I like the old art style better. Yeah, I do too. We know how to do this. Just hit the bell until you win. So we want this to attack. We want this to attack. We want this to attack. One uh -huh. damage, one damage, four damage, one, five. What? Remember, you can move him further. You can move him into the opponent's row. And I think you can move all the other ones. Move all the cards as far down as oh, you can. Oh, do we just need him, anyone, to deal five? No, we have no, to deal five. Click, click, yeah, yeah. What's this mole thingy? And you can move those top three down. Or no, I don't think you want to, though. Wait, wait a second. How does that work? Two, five, six? Bop, bop. Oh, because okay, he the left, blocks... Mo Move the left stack up. No, like the left left stack. All right. This should deal three over top of mole. One kills mole plus two. This should deal five. Okay. All right. Good work. All right. We're figuring it out. I found a pack. Shiny. A oh, beastly, beastly card pack. I mean, I'm sure everything in this biome is going to be beastly. Mole. Mole man. Zero six. Hans Molman. Okay. Wolf Cub. Mummy Lord? And you other know. Sapphire Mox. Oh, wow. We got so many of these. Mole Man, Thick Droid, Mummy Lord, Squirrel Ball. Oh, that's gross. And drop a squirrel. In there. Oh! Oh, that's fun. Leaves a squirrel behind? I... I don't know about you, but I feel like in card games, not that I'm an expert, I don't play them very much, but I am not the type of person who likes to do like the super large numbers of weak cards strategy. Oh, you don't like to go wide? No, I'm very much a... I, do, I pretty much do everything like this, I've realized, um, where I like to build the the heavy hitters. I like the... the I like working up to that one super card. Yeah, but then what if your opponent bounces it back to your hand? You wasted yeah, I mean, all, I of guess your, you're right. all of your resources or one murder card. Whereas you need but like a whole doesn't? word wipe to get rid of a lot. I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, do we got... Oh, it's the Trapper. Hey, Trapper. All right. So before uh, that fun diversion, what were we up to? We were, we were trading. Talking to the Trapper, kind man. Of. Is this the trapper? Okay, the tra are the trapper and the trader two different people? No, the trapper the and the bandit are the same people, but with the helmet turned mm. upside, the mask turned upside down. Wait, what do you say? But I also accept what? Oh, I don't know. I bet it was probably just oh, flavor. Oh, tickets? Yeah, we don't have any of these. We can buy packs or a Boros. <laughs> we had a let. Do you remember on the last? Well, the last. We had quote eleven. Unquote, save yeah. yeah oh are those the so teeth how did we get how did we get them are they the teeth are they i don't know that seems like that that almost reads to me like a foil pack or like a card oh, pack or right? something nope okay all right let's go talk to leshy i don't think we can do anything else outside can we interact with the shelves nope anything in the corner this looks way more spacious than the other cabin we are in 
I know. I know. I feel like a stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inad ah, inadequacy. I can't even say it. That's how Behold inadequate I am. Hold me. I'm going to go around and start telling people, say, and start say, say, going around telling people, Behold me. You're not going to go around yelling, Witness! <laughs> when I answer a tech support call, I'm going to be like, All right, logging into your computer. Behold me. <laughs> it is as I, I, Zach. In, as I in, install a printer. The scribe of RDP. <laughs> <laughs> We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first, oh, shit. we must install a rare Screen Active Connect. Directory card. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Did I fire mm -hmm. six shots or five? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, they each require a photo before they were considered battling. Oh, we got a gym leader? Return to me when they are all defeated. What's this little thing popping up to his left? I don't know. So the prospector wanted a photo of his dog. So he said it ran off to the south, right? So we probably got to go to the other place. Oh, hey, dog. Oh, never mind. I mean, I'm really bad at intuiting things, I guess. We, we lured it with the meat. Okay, so now we can take that to the prospector. And then he opens a way for us to take a photo of the fish, probably. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let you pass me and into yonder pond. But, dagnabbit, first we gotta battle, battle, battle. Oh, we know this guy's shtick. Uh, All right, place down our... Yep, I'm PO3, okay? You picked my starter that deck. That thing's literally just... Uh, that thing's literally just a, a play date. Mm-hmm. This guy was probably really psyched for it to come out. <laughs> that means you have to learn to use uh, energy. Yes, you do have to explain it. At the end of the owner's turn... Oh, at the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Uh, so this is just literally magic. If you have enough lands. This is like a guaranteed land drop. Yeah. Or Hearthstone, I guess, is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Hearthstone. So let's get a damage in, right? Wait. Well, you put... put Put your one energy oh, dude down that's and, how sac that and sacrifice him to put the... Oh, I didn't know how that read. Okay. Leap bot, sacrifice leap bot. To play the card, but you get it back next turn. Sick of hearing from me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I've got important work to do. You'll see me later. So we can not sacrifice the robot. Yep. We poop on the robot. Okay. Is this our, like, go, go button? Oh, no, that's our go button. What is this button? Wolf Cub transcends to a higher form. So we have two energy. What's this button doing? Yeah, we just hit it. What the fuck? Is that an item? Can we destroy? I don't, I don't know, know what, that I want to do that. I don't know what this is. Bloodhound was dealt overkill damage. Oh. Not Blood Hunter. Blood Hunter. Alright, so this guy costs three. That's fine, right? I think we. What's the okay. hammer do? Fucking hammer it, dude. Let's go. I have a feeling that's probably an item. It just gets rid of your card. Or maybe returns it to your deck. You should hit it. We're about to win. Is it just kill your own card? Uh, it dealt one damage. Sure. Can we do it We don't it have anything again? that does more than one damage, huh? I want to put... Can you put down a thing that is two, or is it too uh, late? Too late, I think. Because I want to know if it just kills it, or does, or actually does one. Yeah, so excess... Oh, oh it does give us foils, okay. Fair's fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say here cards are better than gold. 
Oh, nice. Holy shit. We're getting so many cards. Procall. Waterborne. When Procall is played, it provides an energy cell. Okay, so this is a ramp card. Hawk. Oh, we got a wizard card? Green mage. The power of green mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. Buff conduit. Other creatures within a circuit. So is that the little sideways battery means? This That's is a... The, that looks like the... I thought the beast yeah, game looks like the was robot starting version get, of the alpha. Yeah, I was... I thought the beast deck was starting to get pretty complicated, but now they're introducing all these other factions. This game is awesome. What is... Did you just... Oh, the, the way to yonder pond is clear. We're going to see Noctis fish The way to here. yonder pond is clear. Hey, there's a fish. Pop. That was easy. That was easy. Did you take a picture of a dead fish? Yeah. You just needed a Do fish. It. Do it. Do it. Place oh, the photo no, of that bait was, it on was the bait. line. <laughs> oh, this little trick it. It's not the motion at all. That's a good photo. This is like that episode of Gravity Falls where they try to go on the boat and take a picture of like Bigfoot or something. You know, I've never actually watched Gravity Falls. I've heard only good things about it, yeah. Do you like cartoons? I don't have anything against cartoons. Then you'll love it. Okay. Fish. Fresh fish. Are, good. Are you just letting the game do the do the decks until we get a better handle on it? Yeah, probably. No, I'm 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 on board. So he's got a whale and it's gonna start moving. Yeah, wait, uh, he, no, he has a salmon. Let's not, like, let's not get a twist. Oh, I honestly thought it was a whale. I didn't even read. That's what he wants you to think. He has, like, the Dollar Tree whale. So we can battery... here, and then we can hammer it. It is just what a free up that? space card. It's like, if you're uh, blocked... Well, oh, we got, a we got a bone. Oh, we did. I don't think we have a single bone thing, but... Uh, I think we do, but we don't have it in our deck. That was a bit wasteful by huh. us. Well, I mean, what are we going to... I don't... I have to imagine this is no longer... So, it switched genres in that way. It doesn't. This doesn't seem like a roguelike anymore. I don't think we'll die if we lose. Hmm, you might be right. It seems like maybe that's the, the narrative shift here, is that it, it changes the subgenre every now and again. Or maybe it's just the once. I don't want to say how ambitious this game is. I don't know. I have to imagine it's going to switch it up at least one other time, right? I mean, you would think, yeah. The rule of threes and all that? You don't... Okay, you don't throw Bowser into a bomb twice. You do it three times. Uh, if you say so... <laughs> yeah, you get it. So this guy's going to die to f this guy. The 49ers... Don't sacrifice Jimmy Garoppolo. Why not? You madman. So right now we're losing. Well, you just got to out DPS this this thing, right? Because this they have submergibles, so they're always going to hit you and you're always going to not hit them. Mm -hmm. I can only tank well, so many hits, though. Yeah, they're not flying, uh... So you got three... Four... Yeah, it's not gonna help you this turn, but it'll it'll tank one more at least. I mean, we, so we win, because spell kits. So that's the thing, we're not... We're not drawing squirrels anymore, either. No, we're not. It's just energy. We switched the hearts down. Oh, wait. Squirrels was Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You had to sacrifice, like, a three-star unit to be able to play a five. Right? I don't, Is that how Yu-Gi-Oh worked? Oh, and then to play a me. seven, never, you needed to sacrifice rules. either two threes or a five, I think. What's yeah. Pokemon? What did they do? Pokemon, you had the energy cards. Is it maybe that's what the green one is? What it, did this game just yoink all of the uh, popular trading card draw? I mechanics? have to imagine it does. Well, magic is kind of like 
the green and the blue. So you have islands, forests, swamps, plains, mm -hmm. mountains. Uh, and this is Hearthstone. That might be just what it is. That's cool. It is kind of cool. You know, I'm. I don't know what what which feeling is stronger right now. I don't know if I'm more like bummed that I don't like I don't like this as much as the cabin. I thought that was really cool, but I'm also like stoked that this is like something new and it looks like it's expanding. So I don't know which feeling is winning out right now for me. I think the cabin is definitely cooler than this part. I mean, just mm -hmm. I mean, come on, aesthetics alone. How many games have yeah. you seen that played like that cabin escape room roguelike <laughs> deck builder PS1 D make? Not many. I mean, there's uh, all. Oh, uh, I mean, I was gonna say it's just the market's oversaturated. Really? I didn't like the fish. Uh, I have to bait it into the trap. What are we doing? I don't know. Finding a photo for Leshy, I guess. Patches of dried blood cackled as Did you pried... Oh, we need a pelt well, for the trapper to fight him. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Two packs. Oh, got a cat. Fuck yeah. I love the cat. But here's the, but here's the deal. In, in a, um... In a card game with not one, but four resource, resource economies... Is the cat as useful if not all of our cards are blood? And let's just play more blood cards. Well, I feel like you have. We have some decisions to make at some point. Like, I feel like we have to design a deck around the cat if we're going to do that. <laughs> let's just play it. Let's just play it. We're not satisfied. Oh, wait, no. Because he's cost one. So you always need some robot, because we don't get squirrels. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. Wait, what's that second card? Or the second category? Oh, that's the dead one. That's the mummy with the okay, bones. Okay, those are bones. Yeah, bones, and then these are like the magic symbols. Do yeah. you think if we equip one of those, it'll tell us how they work? Maybe, but I feel like it's just a waste of a slot. Uh, so what does the autocomplete want us to have? Mole man for blockers. I don't love the idea of blockers and we could just have more damage. But here's the deal. That mole man we blocks bought... all damage until it dies. You put that thing down at the start and you just bought yourself like three more turns. I guess that's true. 49 year old move in the direction. Rock call. Steel mice. A copy of it is created in your hand. Okay. Explode bot, thick droid. Does this seem good you know, to you? A... a one three for five. Um, that doesn't I seem very that good. That sort of to thing me. where it's like, yeah, you're right, but like, wait, what is it? It's a one three for five battery. Like we can't even play so this I... until turn five. For yeah, a like one that's not three, good. that seems bad. I mean, I guess that seems like the sort of thing that only exists to clog up your deck until you have more cards. Let's uh let's toss in a cat and then let's play mm -hmm. some good beasts. That wolf is good. That yeah, wolf I that like turns wolf into cub. a regular. Uh Ooh, death the touch. snake. And we have our raven. I kinda wanna finish Or real that's hot. not a raven. You can put more than you can put more than twenty cards in. You can take one out if you want to put the hawk in. Like, do we really need two explode bots? We don't need explode bot if we have adder. Because the purpose of Explode Bot is deal 10 damage to the thing across from it when it dies. And next to it, yeah. And add Well, we don't want it to deal next to it because that kills our guys. So well, I, I say feel like we ditch <laughs> Explode Bot and we add in Hawk. Oh, I, f I feel like that could have been fun. Uh, we'll toss in one no, Explode sure. Bot. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we have Explode Bots at home. <laughs> so we need to trap this Mom, guy. Dad, Push him into the trap. Can I? Can I have an adder? Walk into the bear trap. Do it. I'm not walking into it. I want to push this guy in. Walk into the bear trap. Hold on. Do it for the vine. Wait, do we have no interaction with this? Do we have to push it? 
Yep. Oh shit. That's dastardly. Okay, if you just leave it there. Yep. And then we play the waiting game. This sucks. I don't like this. Oh, do we need to, like, trick it? Nothing to see here, rabbit. Oh, do we have the block? Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. you have to walk over. I, yeah, I got you, I got you. And then we need to stand on the left of this. I, how did you come out that way? Oh! Instant. Bop. What, what animal was that? Yeah, it looked like a rabbit. Oh. I don't like that part. All right, Trapper. We challenge thee. Behold me. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. I keep thinking those Ys are Vs. It is time to set another trap. Yep, he turned his head around. I smell the hare's blood on you. What is that? Is that a bear trap card? Burrowing trap can't be sacrificed. When enemy space would be struck, burrowing trap will move to that space to retrieve this. Okay, so this gives you the pelt. So this is like his old mechanic. Uh, uh oh. Well, not until next turn. Can we do five dam? <laughs> no. Uh, we can get that zero six thing out, and also block his attacks. Our thing will outlast his thing. Uh, I don't think we need to do the zero six this turn when we can block one hit with this first, and then sacrifice it sure. next turn. You're smart. So we want to eat uh, this trap. Oh, what if we get hit by the... What if we sacrifice the robot? And then what if we do the explode bot? Huh? 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 Well, it's an insta-kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When an empty space would be struck, Burrowing Trap will move to that space for Street the Psych instead. Also, when Burrowing Trap perishes the creature... Oh, no, so we do have to deal five damage to it. Yeah. So maybe we do just explode, but... Hell yeah. I knew that was a good thing. Actually, do we? I'm confused. Eh, yeah, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? Wait, okay. I don't actually think this is going to get us what we want because it's not going to attack the, es the explode mm, bot. Watch this, though. Oh, what if you hammered it? Does that Can you trigger the explosion? Probably. But I think even better if we do it on sacrifice. Okay. But here... Okay. Oh, look. You don't even need to do that. Did it. Oh, dude, that exploded. That exploding thing's sick. If you can just trigger it by sacrificing it. Yeah, yeah. That's not awful. Oh, we're really paying for these stupid mole things, aren't we now? Uh. This is just gonna die anyway. I guess we get one damage yeah, out I see of it. What you mean. Or no, we need the sacrifice fodder. Okay. Oh fuck. We're not thinking this through. This deck sucks. I hate these moles. <laughs> we have no damage. We have only blockers. <laughs> we shall win by attrition. We have no damage. More blockers. This inscription More deck builder is garbage. <laughs> <sighs> More mole. Now I bet you wish you had more exploding bots. I wish I had anything but mole men. This doesn't right, matter. This thing Just dies. We get three hits, though. That's so worthless. This deck sucks. Okay, I'm actually going to do this manually. <laughs> Is 
so we'll do three so we just stay infinite like this Well, you keep drawing cards as long as you do that, so. As long as you don't kill the right card, I think we can just we can just bait out draws. I think so. So this has some merge. This is good, right? Yeah. Well, they're all good, really. And then this hits, and then it submerges. So eventually it'll put us in the green. Let's just keep doing this. This is lame. If this is how this deck is supposed to be played. Oh, what's this one? The way the way it's meant to be played. Oh, a copy when of it is created mice in is, your hand. Oh, we can infinitely play the Steel Mice. Yeah, do it. Get rid of that frog on the third thing. It'll make it go quicker. Yeah, now whatever you do, just don't put the thing mm -hmm. on the, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh boy, another oh, mole put, man. You gotta, you gotta put the mole man. You gotta put, ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not putting the mole man. Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck the mole man. Give me more cards so I can get rid of these goddamn mole men. Nobody talks to mole man. <laughs> oh, wait, Bullfrog. what? Yellow mana? Mantis god. That's 200 bucks. Elk fawn. Okay, so it upgrades into an elk. We bought Mage Knight. If Mage Knight's owner controls no mox cards, Mage Knight perishes. Alright, what now here's what you want to do. Get as many of those goddamn mole mans out of your deck as possible. I mean maybe one's fine. Yeah, but like one or two. Elk Fawn seems good. I like the upgrade cards. That, like, level up. I hate the arrow cards because it's impossible to, to keep <laughs> track of it. We like always fuck up the arrow cards. <laughs> literally incapable by human mind of keeping track of where all those things are going to move. What can we buy? Oh, one we more buy for the a stoat. pack. We can buy a stoat. We can buy a squirrel. We can buy the stoat, but the basic stoat isn't that good. Oh. Remember, we're in the prequel. This is pre-stoat. Oh, yeah. When are we going to the Senate meeting? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there a save? Nope. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler. What is gorm? What is gormless What mean? is to be gormful? <laughs> the enigmatic right, trapper. Ask. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match. Leshy, scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to replace Chiefly British. Three. Oh. That's weird. Good, though. If you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Gormless means to be stupid. He's got a stoat. Do not we spare your creatures. Stoat. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. What? I guess we play the block. Okay, we sacrifice into Mole Man. Yeah. Man, the Mole Man's great. I don't know if great. <laughs> Ooh, Mantis oh, and there's And there's our card. Oh, dude, you can put it in front of the... Uh... You can put it in front of the mole. Well, we need to sacrifice something. Well, the moles, it's always going to move to the mole. Like, the mole will always... Well, well, the mole can't move to three locations in one turn. Yes, it does. That's well, how the mole man uh, works. It'll block every well, open square. I don't think well, we need to sacrifice anything. Well, God can hit it yet. three times. I, I think we're in a winning right, spot. let's do it. Yeah, see? It, it moves. I mean, we're, we're we're still winning. Oh, but this dies. Does it die before, or is it going to move, though? 
does it, does take, it take a, a turn to flip? Oh, I feel like we should know this by now. I think it takes a turn to flip. <laughs> I think so. Because remember our wolf was stuck in the corner that one time? I don't, but I'll take your word for it. So I'm going to sacrifice it for Mantis. Oh, the thing does three damage. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mole Man. I do not want to play Exploder, Exploder Bot. I do not want to play Exploder Bot here. Exploder <laughs> Bot. We could add her over here, though. Do it. Now you Exploder Bot. Okay. Uh, I think we just chill. Exploder Bot can't die just here, go. can it? Uh, no, it can't. Bop. And that's Death Touch. Button two, three, plus the one. Oh, we don't get any overtime, though. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hm, we never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. Amalgam, amalgam, amalgam. Cat. So this is good, because uh, it doesn't do anything to us, because it gets insta-killed by the Death Adder. So we're dealing one, two, three, yeah. four, five. And that's just it, right? Should be. <laughs> I like I like that this game is way more based about momentum than pure, like, uh, like attack defense, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very momentum-based. I remember the one where we won and like we were super losing and then we like alpha the <laughs> raven and won in one turn. <laughs> yeah, the raven. Oh, dude, the raven alpha was great. Oh, it was great. great. It was great. And then the coyote dealt like 10 a turn too if he was alpha. He dealt five to two squares. Oh, it was great. I love that deck. Winning formula. Oh, we're back here. Oh, we captured his soul. Look at that. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but I must now yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous <laughs> ascent. You know, Leshy was already sort of like kind of off. Leshy seems like. seems like an ass. Even before the whole uh, kidnapping people and killing them to play his bastardized version of this card game. This is a pretty good... uh brando sando line <laughs> way of kings is all about like journey before destination did you watch wheel of time yet i did yeah i don't know anything about it but did you like it uh they the stuff that they kept the same as the books was really faithful but they made some really weird changes mm. one of which two of which were good all the other ones i would not have changed but I'll mm. give them credit on those two. And it's not the whole season's out yet, so, like, you know, maybe it'll make sense. Oh. Uh, Are you interested in watching more, I guess, is the question? I probably will. It's not as good as I was hoping, but it's fine. Mm. Cat! Yeah, those sort of li those sort of adaptations barely are. Or rarely are. It's one of those things that could have been, but I don't think... Oh, whoa, hold on. Battery low. What is this? Oh, shit. It's PO3. <laughs> yep, this is the stoat, all right. Bad play. You're just so bad. Oh, he just he just called him a baddie. In red text. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even oh, sooner man. if the disc wasn't lost. Oh, there's the stoat. Take a long look at this face, because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Jesus. Is this why, like, Leshy turns on him? Because everyone's just bullying this guy? And we were also bullying him, so... Well, the guy at the beginning, or the, the bridge guard... Um... Wait, what? I pushed it too far. Were they in, like, some kinky, like, pet sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah? That's what it seems like. To live as a beast to be the noblest thing. Uh... So, you can make the argument hmm. that sin is a human trait. 
and that animals don't I... have the capacity for intentional maliciousness, whereas humans do. I guess. Like, if a dog does something I've dickish, some you don't animals. be like, yeah, that, was a, that dog was feeling pretty dickish that day. You're like, no, it's a dog. That's what <laughs> dogs do. Like, oh, I've called my dog a dick before. Yeah, but like, they they don't change day to day, right? Like, not as much as a human has. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Do we have how many foils we got? Ah, oh, not enough. Do you think each zone has its own foil shop? The scribe of beasts was defeated. Oh, we did it. Do you guys have any more dialogue now that we won? Leshy want good no. fish. Fresh fish. Corrupted fish. Dog? Nope. Prospector? Darn pretty pick. Nope. Okay. Back to the... Do you think this sign does anything now? Or is it just Probably like a, just says, a shadow of the yeah. Colossus pillar? No, you use it and then you warp to the uh, to the tower level. Oh, that person did and fix you the bridge. Beat the boss. Oh, look at that. So should we do one of these first now or should we do the... Do you think well, there's like a difficulty? save the robot land for last. Yeah, let's go to the... What is this? What is this, Necrodancer shit? <laughs> oh, dude, did this turn into a necromancer to the trapper theme oh I'd yeah kill dude you're here marvelous i am grimoire scribe of the dead Woo! spooky so this was the stink bug that's what the face was turning into oh until quite recently i was disgraced so i was returned to my form i can't do it. it's too much text to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends if you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. All right, so ghoul A doesn't want to be sat next to any ghoul that has three legs, but the three-legged ghouls only want to sit across <laughs> from the uh, from the from the cat. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh wow, we're just going straight in. Oh, we do get it's little time boards. to do When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, Bone Howl will move. Okay. Oh my god, I hate these moles. What mole? We don't have a mole. Oh, mantis. No, that's God. the that, that's the oh, no, that's the scaly version of a mole, ain't it? Sure. I, I don't know. That's what it reads like to me. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna kill this thing in one turn, I guess. That's unfortunate. That revenant kind of throws a wrench in my plan. I'm gonna do three damage, skin bag. Haha, <laughs> loser. I'm beginning to feel like a mantis god. Mantis god. <laughs> so if we sacrifice this hour. to play Fawn, this guy's just gonna swoop in and hit it. Alright, yep. Sack the robot. No. That doesn't get us anything. Hmm. Well? So I think actually, Zach. What's the move? I think how this works is that if we play the Elk Fawn, it's going to drag this guy over. Our dude should kill one hit and then move before he swings back, keeping it alive. Well... Our, our three attacker is going to kill this thing in one turn anyways. No, he dies next turn. No, no, no. I'm saying... Um, We're the four damage you, away, you aren't we? Well, the moment you hit the bell, that triple attack guy is going to hit that bone... Is going to hit the bone thing three times. 
It's going to hit the Bonehound three times. No, it doesn't. Got, the Bonehound's going to... It hits it once. It, does it not? It hits it once. Does it hit it once? No, it hits, well, better two, it hits that... one to his face, one to his face, one to him. And the bone thing doesn't move every time? It moves whenever you play a new guy. It blocks mm. the new one. So I think what we do is sack this. Well, this is actually better form. for us. And so he hits it, and then oh. he should move out of the way. Yeah. But now this guy... Yeah, is bigger. You do two, and then you put one thing down. Well, we just win here. Uh, let's win a, let's win a yeah, style, Yeah, how do we though. get extra? That's what I'm saying. Oh, we don't win it. Oh, we'll get extra well, next that's okay, turn. because we... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We want we want foils. We want those sweet, sweet foils. Oh, no, we don't. It's going to explode. Fuck, explode, oh, bot. Nope, What's we got no thing? extra. It's the steel mice. Hmm. Well. I mean, I guess we wins. could. We could keep... No. No, we just went off just this. Just do nothing. <laughs> ah, that's not worth it <laughs> we're not power gaming that hard <laughs> but we could have done the skeleton's nothing. like what the fuck are you doing play a card and you're just like no it's your turn go deathly card pack it's like, it's like I don't want to give you my foils what the fuck sacrifice as many times as you want for three energy okay but it okay. costs six bones and bones are not as easy to come by in this game as it was no, in the last not. one. Does this cost 13 bones? Well, I mean, I guess it's like oh, the other Raven. thing. We got to build... If we want more bones, we like those cards would probably be useful if we built a deck that w was conducive to getting more bones. Or a deck that was conducive to sacrificing things, right? Like, we've already found in the last, like, in the cabin section that the... Uh, that the that the blood cards and the bone cards are work pretty pretty synergistically. They do, but the problem is we can't we don't we don't have squirrels anymore. Right. So we need to keep the battery guys because it's the only way we can actually play cards. Uh, do we just start tossing? Well, I mean, a lot maybe of until that in? mana thing happens. Well, uh, how about this? Do we do? Is there anything in here that we? don't want like do we need four 49ers okay uh i feel like those guys were actually good because those um were were very basic cards that just let us do use attacks they're just like sacrifice outlets which is fine yeah like it's the same reason we need so these same guys with those. let's put all of them in the deck and maybe we can um we'll see how many cards we get at the end of this and we can like start there when we start pruning uh i mean this just seems bad three for a one one automaton steel mice is good because it's a sack outlet right or it's like a chump block infinite thick droid sounds really bad Those are decent. Maybe. Yeah. What's better? The five cost for a one, three or the six cost for a two, two. I feel like it has to be the six because we also get cards that increase our energy. Oh yeah. Where's that guy at? Is he a beast? Blood he card. A beast. So we have batteries that we can always play without needing sacrifices. Yeah. So what are good sacrifices? I like Mantis God. Put a cat. I think in there. Cat cats help us a lot with sacrifice. I think that deer or whatever, the elk, elk fawn. fawn. We got two elk fawns. We have wolf cub. What's better, the wolf cub or the or the elk fawn? I think they're both good. Elk fawn becomes tankier, it becomes a two four, whereas this becomes a three two. Uh oh. So the wolf does more damage, fawn has more defense. I'm okay with putting more into this, like yeah, going sure. over twenty. Like, like that's like I, I think we need at least a snake, or maybe even two. And that's the thing, right? Maybe like, the hawk will let us finish. Sure, like having more cards isn't bad if they're all good cards. That's true. I always go for but like the but consistency also, but once again, of your draw. 
Do you want four? We have four 49ers and four of that other cards. Like, do you want the eight eight of your 24 cards to be those things? Yes. Because we need I mean, to play I'll, I'll, something. All of our blood cards are useless sure. if we oh, don't sure. have a batter. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not saying like, are you sure you want to do that? I'm. I'm. I'm le legitimately asking. Uh, it's not hold a. Grudge. So if that's the move, I think we'll try it. Oh come on, dude! It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Boo. Banshee will strike an opponent directly. Draugr. So we want to keep this alive. The creature inside is released in its place. We want to keep it alive. So let's get some... So so we don't want the moving card. Correct. Which is why I'm just going to play the wolf cub in here. So this should be able to tank the skeleton. Okay, we're doing okay. He's going to put a leap bot down. Uh, uh, you can so put a leap bot down and then sacrifice it next turn, maybe mm -hmm. for, a, yeah, for a hawk. For a hawk. And that should put us over. Ooh, so we could break. just win. We could just play. I mean, we win here. Right? So how do we, we get more yeah, but, damage? Uh, well, you sacrifice the robot for one of the other, or, or for the one into this square. Elk. Yeah, you'll, you'll get at least one. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. Hey, two foils. Two. Bada ping, bada that, boom. Oh, that other thing. That other save only had eleven. That's bush league. <laughs> oh, he's a bit less cold. Pack. Oh, rise from your grave. Dead hand. Discard your hand and draw a new hand of four cards. Yo. <sighs> this is good. Fuck yeah, dude. Because what you do is you play this when your hand size is only this. And then you draw yeah, four cards. Yeah, when you draw... Well, you also need five bones. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we don't have any bone synergy going <laughs> on. Warren, when Warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is zero power, one health. So this is like a sacrifice outlet. Is a, is a Warren a creature or is that just like the name Warren? A Warren is like a rabbit Warren. It's like a nest of rabbits. Mm. That's what it's called. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, read Watership Down, my dude. <laughs> I probably won't. The name's Casey, K Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone Casey on the left. Hobbs got a job in heaven. Casey. Oh, Hobbs. I don't. Is that a song? Yeah, it's a uh, Casey Jones, the Union scab. Oh, 1970. Oh, died at 22. That's young. Well, the defibrillator failed. That's uh, Christ. What an epitaph. Like, yeah, maybe that's true, but are you gonna print it on the on the? Oh, we found a card like, in gravestone? the well. Drowned soul. Oh, four bones. This is a good one, though. Waterborne and death touch, so it never gets hit back, but it's always going to kill whatever's in front of it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good ass card. I kind of want to put that four bones. We can get four bones, right? I mean, you get a bone every time you sacrifice, so it's the same thing as four bloods, but even easier to get. So we can go to the left still, or we can fight this person. Is the trapper over? Yeah, he is. Can we go down? Can we go downstairs? Yeah, I'll try downstairs. Also, I will say we're we're, we're we just hit the two hour mark, so. All right. Let's see Whenever, if we can clean uh, up this room. Yeah. Uh, trapper. I'm not saying that has to be a hard hard and fast rule, but just for for your information. Mm. Uh, what are we doing? Skeleton, zombie, grave digger. Yo, zombie's not bad. Ah, uh, no, it is bad. Right. Gravedigger doesn't seem great. These games don't last particularly long, so, like, things that accrue over time like that don't seem worth it. No, but it's also a blocker. It's a free blocker and a sacrifice. Because as long as it survives yeah. one turn, it's paid for itself. Mm-hmm. I think that's where this comes in. Like, I actually think this is a good card. Uh... What, is that other one anything special, or is that just a two-bone one-one? It's a two-bone one-one. 
It's just a zombie. That sucks. So, right, because you play Gravedigger. It costs one bone. You take one hit with it. You block a two damage creature or something. It gives you a bone, and then you sacrifice it, which gives you a blood and another bone. So you're getting two bones and one blood every time you play this card. And a block. Yeah. What what are the top two? That seems like nutty value. Pay two bones to just... You just pump this with spare bones. Uh, oh, and that would have been good in our last one. This one dies after perishing. This would have been great on our last one. This thing would have been like 24 24. I want Gravedigger. <laughs> oh, it replenishes. Yeah. The thing about the. Yeah, that top right one looks good too. It's literally free. It's literally oh, a I didn't free even see damage. that. I mean, you can still buy it. We have the foils. It's only a one. Do We don't know what's inside the Draugr, huh? Yeah, that's weird. I guess not. I wonder if it's the same for all all Draugrs. Oh, we can just, just buy more that? skeletons? Yeah, you can buy... Uh, wait, did you buy two? Yeah, I kind of want to buy a third. Let's find out what that's Draugr's funny. in here, though. Oh, what? What's that? Did you see the Pharaoh's Pets? We have a Pharaoh's Pets. Oh, shit. Nice. Pretty sure we do. Uh, all right, get, get some of those... Uh, yeah, they're like the great sacrifice ones, right? Oh, right. Yeah, we couldn't. We don't have the bones. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just. Let's toss in the skellies. Well, the skellies, you get a bone. Probably. You can sacrifice them, and they get a bone when they die, and they deal one damage. And they're free. That seems better than the 49ers that we were using. It does seem better than the 49ers. Though, you can't. The one thing you can't do is use it to block. Let's remove these high cost tech cards. I don't actually know how many we... that were. Yeah. I kind of like steel mice. But Okay, let's play with this. Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, down the stairs. Oh, another epitaph. What's in the thing? A gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. You have no offering? You have no offering? Oh. Brought down by scurvy. Oh, you gotta drink your OJ. We need us. We you need gotta. an offering. Oh, we got a car pack in here. Can we offer that? The walkers. Four bones are rewarded instead of one, but it costs four bones. But it that's... costs four. So it's a, that's like a super bone charge version of the, uh... <laughs> of the other Skella one. Magus. I pronounce Skella Magus. Hark! A living... Oh, this is a scurvy guy. A living slice of lemon. Bright and trig is a lime. What's trig? You think you'll squeeze a defeat out uh, of me? It's short for uh, trigonometry. Oh, yeah. Like angles and shit? Not a squeeze of trigonometry. Go ship. All right. Blocker time. Or you can block into the Mantis God. Although you're only going to get one turn out of that Mantis God. What do you mean? Unless you place it in the second one. Yeah, we just place it here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, since that gave us a bone. Uh-huh. Let's start generating some bones. Let's bone up. Yeah. Oh, dude, Randy, we're boning so hard right now. We're boning. Uh, one, two, three. We win. No. Yeah, I know. My foils. <laughs> My foils. <laughs> now that we can actually do something with them. I know. Another Skelemagus. Dead hand. Oh, we're getting like more. Ship. We're getting more cards than we know what to do with. You're. Get- yeah, this What's is like a rare proper one? deck builder. My name's I Royal. Like the... It's the far right tomb. Jesus. 
Revenant Necromancer. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. What? Wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on. What? When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. So this doubles up our bones. Does it also double up bloods if you sacrifice? No, it says dies, not sacrifices. Well, so it would trigger. They so say when that you too, though, like it's it's the square and rectangle. Every time you sacrifice, that counts as a death, but not every death counts as a sacrifice. So if you have a mm. necromancer and a squirrel out, and you sacrifice the squirrel, you'll get the one blood for the sacrifice. You'll get one bone. It'll come back to life and die again, and you'll get a second bone. Hmm. But you won't get a second blood, is how I'm reading this. Yeah, that makes sense. Still seems good. Sure. Yeah, if you're going for a bone build. I feel like we're just always navigating to bone builds, but, like, they seem really cool. I want to play a necromancer. Yeah, just a, just a couple of boners out here. Just a couple of boners. And, yeah, fuck the magic system. Hit by a yeah, falling there's like piece two of different kinds of mana we've already seen, right? And we haven't played a single mana card. You know, at one point we're going to have to. Oh, yeah. Or I mean, do you definitely. think we can just play this oh, whole game what without, is, without... What is this Undertale oh. mirror nonsense? Oh, what? What? Oh, shit. Wait, I can't be me anymore? Oh. Oh, it, it switches what yeah. you look like each time? Wait, really? Let's be this dapper looking guy. Yeah. I thought that maybe you uh, played as a human to sacrifice yourself to the thing downstairs. Uh, Royal Dominguez was this guy. He was brought down by scurvy. And there was no cure. Now, which one was the middle? Okay, middle, middle is, stone. uh... The guy who died by the dog. Sawyer. Oh yeah, it was Casey Hunt. Dog and does not hold a grudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Casey. Yeah. Hit by a piece of falling ice. Uh, train fell off the tracks. This seems backwards. Maybe the defibrillator was the dog guy. Nope. Okay. Nope. Marvelous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Did we go through the top right? That was the mirror. Oh, and we right, got right. a card pack from the well. The trapper was on the, the left. The direction is terrible when I'm not the one playing. <laughs> I was beginning to work. Oh, did we just free her? Now it's time to battle. People love battling, dude. Oh, dude, we got a little I, theme. Did we get if, a theme for Leshy? Randy, I want to live in a world like um, Final Fantasy VIII or The Witcher 3 where you're like, I just want to live in a world where everybody, and I mean literally fucking everybody, just has a deck of a card game and is rearing to go, like at all times. I mean, that would be pretty badass, sick. Like, I want to go to the supermarket. Cashier's like, all right, your bill's like $35. And I'd be like, sick, by the way, you want to play cards? And then the cashier <laughs> would be like, Hell yeah, I want to play cards. <laughs> and then it just happens. Who doesn't want to play cards? Guy behind me is like, I want to play cards too. All right, what's this game we're playing? Inscription, right? This is Inscription, yeah. That's not where I wanted to play. What are you doing that? this game? Uh, we're trying to tilt the scales over to five. Oh, oh okay. How do you do that? I don't know. We're figuring it out. <laughs> Rip Bone Hound. Death by Explode Bot. What do you mean it'll be back? That's how she makes cards, remember? We have the four bones. If you say so, my dude. Oh, it sucks that our cat's gonna die here. Oh no, it strikes over it. Nice. Drown Soul's Touch of Death kills instantly. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. This seems like it would get old. Yeah, it's a lot of slowing you down whenever that happens, that's for sure. I gotta admit, it slowed me down. 
Sacrifice cat. Play fawn. Hit him up for damage. Fawn should upgrade. So that times two on the totem. So what's the times three and times four? Is that just like on the scale? Is that just uh... That might be the total amount of damage done. Right? Huh. Oh, instead of the teeth? Uh, possibly. Or not the teeth, the stones that were on the scale during yeah, the cabin part? Yeah, yeah. I think this just gives it, it to you in a number. Hmm. We kind of need a big damage dealer here. Okay, this is a winner. There it is. Big damage dealer. Oh, dude, we're gonna get a foil, too? Actually, we're not, because there's... We should get one foil. Well, we're not done. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> R.I.P. All your cards. Yeah, give them back. As corpses. <laughs> oh, they're power zero? But you can still sacrifice the cat. Hell yeah, I can still sacrifice the cat. And also they're all and also they're all free. Uh It blocks at least the left card. Except no it won't, because the left card's airborne. Yeah, it That's won't block literally the just a waste of a card. It'll uh, give us use your skelly. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason for us to play it yet. The skelly? To you can get rid of that card on the left. Yeah, Skelly's a good call. And we have no reason to play anything else. Now we have a bunch of bones. Well, we can tank this. I don't know if that's oh, necessary yet. We don't need to worry about one damage. Okay, so we got bones. Let's play a Draugr. We take two more. That's okay. Oh, it's a fucking skeleton? I thought it'd be something better than that. Hmm. We're running out of steam a little bit here, Zach. Well, we're gonna get more cards. If, if, we, get, if we hit one of our bone ones. Well, we got a, we got a block. You can tank that other one. I, the problem no, is this is going to upgrade, and we don't know what it upgrades into. That right card, I think, was a mistake. What else could we have played? We played our whole no, hand. No, I mean, you're right. You're right. Oh. Well, we try again. It's not just going to completely yeah, dick you. us over. It's a different genre. We're not playing a roguelike now. We're playing a... Playing Thank the Legend God, of Zelda. that's so much less stressful. <laughs> Alright, so this card blows. I thought this was something different. Alright, we got no turn one plays. I mean, it it's so it tanks twice for one bone, so like eh. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Hmm. I feel like we don't have a good way to get rid of this. Uh, you could block it with a skeleton, or you could block it with a big skeleton on the left. Or, or I meant, hmm, which of these two places would that be better at? Oh, that's right. This can't be sacrificed, huh? Uh. You could sacrifice the skeleton to put the wolf down. Or just go for big damage, put every or put the skeleton in the middle, put the wolf on the or you well, I'm talking out of my Does ass. Does that work? Now. Uh yeah, that works, I think. Oh, it's not why isn't it buffing it? Oh, it needs to complete the circuit. So we need it to have on both ends. 
Wait, so do you have to put it on the edges? Yeah, I think this needs to be surrounded for its thing to work. Some mistakes have been made. Okay. We're learning how these mechanics work. Oh, shut up, lady. Now we're a fourth-rate duelist with a fifth-rate deck. Do we have foils we could spend? A couple. I mean, we could probably just tweak this deck to be better, but I'm not giving up yet. We're learning mechanics as we go. So, the, so this Bonehound is really frustrating. That's what was so good about the Exploder bot is it just took it out. So what we want to do... Uh, you could sacrifice the robot, put that thing out, attack the attack the bone god or whatever, and then it'll slide out of the way. So this should upgrade. Ooh. Hmm. This doesn't really do much for us, does it? No. I mean, I guess put the blocker down on the left. Do we or do we save it for a sacrifice fodder? Well, we can't. We literally can't take. We'll deal well. the three first, though. Well, how about this? If we if we put the blocker on the left, we do three damage now. How much damage do we do next turn? Well, they're going to be moving. This will be over here. This will be over here. I think we're fine to just leave it. Okay. So now we really need to block Mummy Lord, right? Mm-hmm. So this will kill Bonehound. And then we chump with this. This deals two. We're having a harder time. This is this is still the first leg of the of the of the game of the match here. Yeah, we might have over polluted our deck a little bit, but that's okay. So we have to. It's really good for trash mobs deal one damage to his face or sacrifice the cat. So what? This puts us That's up the worst one. That and then he deals three back. Well, this person's done putting... Oh, no, they're not. Well, we have the bones. That doesn't do anything for us. You could sacrifice it for the cat. You would at least it does take no that damage. damage on the right, but you could at least you could at least eat the damage on the right with the cat. I think you put the bones on the left somewhere, and the cat on the right. That'll at least buy us another turn. Things are looking dire. Well, I think you put that, uh, where do you put that? On the, I think you put that on the left. Mm, I don't know, Zach. Because here's what I'm thinking. Um, that'll tank that, the mole, and that'll, and, and elk the will elk slide will over. over one. Okay, I forgot about the elk that. sliding over. And now we won't just die. So we can put both of these out. You can complete the circuit. I don't know what that would do for you. Oh, if you complete the circuit, you uh, you might be we might kill these guys. Yeah, that, that actually I think that is. How does this work? Doesn't seem like it. I th I think you do you need two of them? Wait, do you need more wonder... than one circuit to buff the Oh, oh fuck. 
Each card Are with this other circuit cards? symbol on either side contributes plus one to this one's attack. So, like, oh. if we had another one on the right, this would gain one attack. Hmm, that's weird. We might be removing this card. <laughs> <laughs> or putting a second one in. <laughs> well, we can put both of these down. We haven't lost yet. Wait, no, we do lose. We have to. We have to block. Let's do it. Yeah, you're Maybe right. We, we are only in first phase section, one, aren't we? This freaking bone hound. All right, we've at least, but she just kills everything we, we play here, right? Yeah, I mean, but we had to if we had any chance. On the bright side, the steel mice, we play the first one that's a zero one, but it should create a one one in hand, right? Mm. We're getting there. Uh, do you sacrifice three? Can you sacrifice three things? And oh no. Be well. This gives us three blood if we sack it. So. Oh, so we could put down the. We gain four attack. We that puts us over. So we can win here with the hawk. Is that the best play though? Uh, I mean, what's the other move? Because we're gonna take five damage if we do nothing. I think the I other like move to. is we play a what's mouse. The other move? Sure. So that way we can get another one in our hand whenever it, uh... You can play the blocker. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I don't know what the other 14 cards in our deck are. I feel like we got pretty trash cards this first time. I think maybe we just put a lot of trash cards into the deck. <clears throat> well, there's a good card. That's a very good card, Zach. Uh, okay, I feel like you got to put the robot down, the cat, and the and the. Uh, well, actually, you can put down all the four cards you have here. So we want the mantis to be safe. The best way for the mantis to be safe would be to place them in the first square, right? Because it flies. Yeah, well, he here's the deal with the mantis, this, though. If you place it, then he but if you place it in out. the first square, then he's only going to hit two things instead of three. Maybe you don't care. Yeah, but he'll but, stay uh, alive. All right. So I say we and put down this to chump this. All right. Randy, I hate to do this to you so close to the end of the video, but um, you finish out this hand. I'll be right back in about uh, 30 seconds or so. Okay. All right. So Mantis is going to kill Banshee. Mantis hits Bonehound. We're going to take four damage or three damage. So what else can we sack here? Steel Mice seems like an obvious pick. Because we can just get another one next turn. And then we can play another Steel Mice to eat that one. Mm, this is actually not a bad pick. Yeah, so I think we just continue like this. Okay, yeah, so we have a ton of bones. We play this. We play another one of these. And then we just swing for the fences. Yeah, okay. We did it. This deck is not super finely tuned, <laughs> but that's okay. It only took three tries. Oh, you did it? Yep. Nice, dude. What was the strat? Uh, Mantis God <laughs> is a really good card.
Tomb Robber, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. That seems pretty good. Was that the one you just you said you didn't want earlier? No, the circuit bot I don't want. And Bone Heap also. I just kind of want to go full bone. <laughs> Never go full bone. Always go full bone. Is this guy going to say fuck again? What happened? <laughs> say fuck again. <laughs> Do it one more time. Oh, we got more videos. All right, what do, you, what do you say we close it out on some, uh, on some videos? I'm thinking what a perfectly timed cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> you want to see these videos? Well, too bad. You, you got to wait till next time before back we see next these time. videos. Just, if, uh, we're not going to watch these videos either, so we will learn along with you. Uh, next time on Back Select Deals With Inscription. See ya.